Welcome to Cryptic Mystic Vault. Today we delve into the life of Francisco Pizarro, the man who led the expedition that changed the course of Inca history. Born in the small town of Trujillo, Spain, Pizarro was a man with modest beginnings. The illegitimate son of a soldier, he was illiterate and worked as a swineherd in his early years. Yet, a burning ambition smoldered within him. He yearned for gold, glory, and the thrill of the unknown. These desires led him to the New World, where he joined the ranks of explorers seeking out uncharted territories. His leadership qualities soon shone through, and it wasn't long before he was leading expeditions of his own. The tales of a wealthy empire in the south, ruled by the Inca, caught his attention. Intrigued and driven by gold and glory, Pizarro set sail towards the unknown, laying the foundation for an encounter that would alter the fate of an empire. Pizarro's journey wasn't without its challenges as he navigated the treacherous waters of the Pacific coast of South America. His early expeditions were marred by adversities, ranging from the harsh weather conditions to the scarcity of food and water. Yet Pizarro and his crew persevered, driven by their quest for wealth and glory. During these voyages, they crossed paths with various indigenous communities scattered across the coastal regions. These initial interactions were often fraught with tension as language barriers and cultural differences led to misunderstandings and, at times, hostility. However, Pizarro's encounters with these communities also provided him with invaluable insights into the riches and intricacies of the lands that lay ahead. These experiences, while challenging, were instrumental in shaping Pizarro's understanding of the New World and his subsequent approach to its conquest. These early voyages were a prelude to the epic conquest that awaited him. Upon his arrival, Pizarro found an empire embroiled in a civil war, a situation he would exploit to his advantage. At the heart of the Inca Empire, a bitter feud was unfolding. Two royal brothers, Atahualpa and Huascar, were locked in a power struggle for the throne. This internal discord was a consequence of their father's death, the Inca Emperor Huayna Capac, who left a divided inheritance. This civil war tore through the empire, leaving it vulnerable and weakened. Pizarro, ever the opportunist, saw this division as a golden opportunity. He cleverly played both sides, using the tension between the brothers to his advantage. As the Incas were busy fighting among themselves, they failed to see the looming threat from the outside. This internal strife played into Pizarro's hands, giving him the opening he needed to infiltrate and seize control. With the Inca Empire weakened, Pizarro's ambition grew stronger. In a pivotal confrontation at Cajamarca, Pizarro captured the Inca Emperor Atahualpa, a move that sent shockwaves through the empire. This unexpected turn of events was the result of a calculated strategy. Pizarro, with a force significantly outnumbered by Atahualpa's army, invited the emperor to a supposedly peaceful meeting. However, it was a trap. The Spanish concealed themselves, armed to the teeth, and when Atahualpa arrived with his unarmed entourage, the ambush was sprung. The capture of Atahualpa was a victory for Pizarro, but it was also a devastating blow to the Inca Empire. The empire's leader was now a prisoner, and the balance of power shifted dramatically. The Spanish held the cards, leveraging their captive emperor to control the empire. The aftermath was a period of unprecedented turmoil, as the Incas grappled with the reality of their situation. With the emperor in chains, the heart of the Inca Empire beat with uncertainty. The capture of Atahualpa marked the beginning of the end for the Inca Empire. Pizarro's cunning tactics had ensured a pivotal victory for the Spanish, but this was just the beginning of the end. The Spanish, now with a stranglehold on the empire, demanded a king's ransom for Atahualpa's release. A room filled to the brim with gold and twice over with silver was the price for freedom. However, even after the payment, Atahualpa was not released. Instead, he was executed, a move that sent shockwaves throughout the empire. With the emperor gone, the Spanish advanced unopposed towards Cusco, the heart of the Inca Empire. As they marched through the highlands, they encountered little resistance. The Spanish, armed with advanced weaponry, 
and driven by their insatiable lust for gold, were a force to be reckoned with. Cusco, the once glittering capital, fell to the Spanish onslaught. The beautiful city was plundered, its treasures finding their way to the coffers of the Spanish Empire. The fall of Cusco marked the end of the Inca Empire, a civilization that had thrived for centuries, known for its advanced architecture, intricate road networks, and efficient administrative system. The once mighty Inca Empire had fallen, paving the way for a new era of Spanish rule. Pizarro's conquest left an indelible mark on the region, one that continues to resonate to this day. As the last of the Inca rulers fell, so did the sun on a civilization that had flourished in the harsh Andean landscape for centuries. Yet the Inca Empire did not vanish entirely. In its place, the Spanish founded new cities, introduced new crops and animals, and established a system of forced labor that would forever alter the landscape of South America. But the legacy of Pizarro's conquest is not just a tale of destruction and loss, it's also a story of resilience and adaptation. Despite the overwhelming odds, the Inca people persisted. They held on to their traditions, their language and their knowledge, which continue to enrich Peruvian culture today. The enduring legacy of the Inca Empire is also etched into the very soil of Peru. The remnants of their magnificent cities, their intricate road networks and their sophisticated agricultural terraces stand as a testament to their ingenuity and their intimate understanding of their environment. Yet the legacy of Pizarro's conquest is also a stark reminder of the human cost of colonialism, the loss of indigenous cultures, and the ethical debates that continue to surround his role in history. As we reflect on Pizarro's conquest, we are reminded of the complexities of history, the resilience of cultures, and the enduring legacy of the Inca Empire.